Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Evie and for today's video I'm going to do my first impressions on my brand new Webster's Pages Color Crush Planner. I was able to purchase mine off of Christy Tomlinson's um, Instagram. She is known as the Planner Society on Instagram and she had gold ones available and I instantly jumped on it because I've been in search for a gold planner um, for a while now. Now I will let you know that the Color Crush Planner itself is the same size as a Filofax personal so you can have sort of like a, a gauge on how big this is I do have a Filofax in an A5 size that one's gonna be bigger this one's personal this one's a bit smaller um, I'll start off by saying that coming in a nice box like this it, I think is wonderful it really protects the product inside and I do like that feature then inside comes with this piece of vellum that has like a gold embossing that says hello and welcome to Webster's Pages, which is really, really nice. I love, I'm a sucker for packaging, so this was very really cool. And then here is the planner in gold. I'll take the box aside. All right, now the leather is really, really smooth and the stitching does match it, so it's not an, um, like an opposite color or anything. It's a snap closure and it can, it's pretty long, so it can take this uh, planner getting a bit chunkier. Comes with a little charm on the side and it says dream big, but I'll probably take that off once I'm using it. And inside looks like this. The pink is wonderful inside. It's good that it's not gold, at least in my opinion. So I do like the hot pink background. Um, and then it comes with three pockets and a sheet of stickers came tucked away in here. They are really adorable and tiny. So these will be used inside your planner. I'll leave them in there stowed away for now. Now the front starts off with um, a piece of like acetate and then another piece of vellum and it says be your own kind of beautiful and it is also if you can see like gold boss there so that's really nice. It has two dashboards and it is labeled in the bottom you can see it says dashboard so you got two more pieces of acetate there. These balloons start a dashboard then your first section says write it down. Okay, and then in this one, it definitely gives you a line paper that says thoughts, ideas, and dreams. And, and the paper weight is really thick, so that's nice. And then the opposite side is just plain um, line pages. So it's really cool. The second tab says uh, memory keeping. And in here, it says the day in a life and day one through 31, little vintage camera. So it gives you some space to write like a memory that you wanna keep per day. And then the back side says project sketches, said this and remember this. So you can do a lot of writing, maybe even put, you know, print a photo and put it right in there, which is really cool. The next section is lists to love, wood grain um, divider. And then this one says close your eyes and imagine the unlimited possibilities, monthly goals and plan and do's. And I really like the way this is looking because it always gives you the impression of like washi tape on areas and like a label and some gold foiling, which is just completely into this whole planner craze that everyone's in right now. I think these will be really adorable. The back side is for memory planning and then it says a shopping list. The next section says staying inspired and now this portion of it almost reminds me of like a smash book because it just comes with decorative pattern paper in which I would go ahead and just you know stick you know probably like movie ticket stubs and pictures and receipts and little things along the way that you just want to keep track of and hold on to. So I think that's a really nice little section that's unique. I've never seen that in any planner. Then the final section is the calendar, okay? And then it goes through January through December and it's gold embossed on there too, or foiled I should say, the, and the 2015. So much in fact that I was feeling them before and the impression of embossing it, you feel it like, almost like braille on the opposite side. I don't know if you can see that. But it is a month on two pages, which is my favorite. And you have the entire year and it's already um, predated. So I don't have to do anything other than that. When you look at after December, you'll have your week on two pages. So again, it's wood uh, foiled on the top. 
and then you have Monday through Wednesday and then Thursday through Sunday with a section here for like notes or setting your goals right there. And then you have the entire year predated in here. And then at the very end, it does come with another piece of like the plastic to kind of protect your pages from getting curved. Another area of gold foiling. She designed a life she loved. And then you're also included with a top pocket that you can probably keep some stickers or like post-it notes in here to take with you with your planner. And then it finishes off with a narrow list pad right at the side here that loads into that pocket and a retractable, not retractable, elastic, <laughs> elastic pen loop, which is really good because sometimes your pens can be a little bit chunkier or thinner and it's good that it's elastic and can accommodate with any pen that you have. So I have to say, first impressions, I think the paper quality on this is really good. I, I do tend to write with, uh, I always say like a, what do they call, gel pens. I like the ink pens better than rollerball. And so I feel like this paper is nice and thick that it will never have any sort of bleed through, which is really fun. Um, and I like the unique sections here. I think I'm gonna use it as it is at first, and then I will get to kind of customizing it a little bit more. So that'll be a follow-up video on how I do my setup for this planner and the use of it. But right now I'm super happy that I purchased it. And in case I didn't mention it, these were um, $35 for the planner the binder plus the inserts, $35. And if you were just interested in having the binder itself, I do believe it was running about $25. But I'll leave a link below on where I find it on other websites. I'm not sure if she still has some, but I'll leave her link down below too so that you can check her out. I was really lucky finding it because, I mean, gold is just the, you know, rarely on trend right now. And I am okay having a gold planner as well. <laughs> well, thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for next videos and a setup on this in the future. Have a good day. Bye.